Your Thanksgiving is a whole ass fucking Brazzers title. <laughs> Stepson comes home to find a surprise, and it ain't a turkey. No, it's not. But it's a different type of leg. Yeah. I'm about to make a your Duncan in your goddamn <laughs> <China>. <laughs> Thanksgiving's tomorrow. I'm trying to stuff. What? what? <laughs> stuff. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? You already know. Do I? You already know. What is it? Sweet potato pie? By looking at me, what do you think? Turkey? No. Oh, stuffing. I'm I'm an accents guy, you know? Oh, 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 um, uh, what do you like? Uh, like sweet almonds or something? What? I don't know. Uh, what am I on a Southwest salad. flight? No. Pota- potato salad. I'm a big cranberry guy. Uh, no, you're not. What do you mean? No, you're not. What do you mean? Do the no. cranberry? No. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no. How? Your favorite everything thing? On a, everything on a, on a Thanksgiving dish is dry. That's fucking the only thing that's like, got that fucking wop. It's got that wet, wet. I'm Dude, literally you it to insane. anything in that bitch. And, I'm, I'm like, mean? I, the cranberry is the I, best. I, not the kind that comes out of the jar with all fucking. What the, stuff? The, j- the cut up cranberries? That stuff's trash. Oh. You're talking about like a sauce? Cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Garbage. Garbage. What the fuck are you Cran- talking about? That's white all- people's salsa. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Dude, okay. Cranberry all- sauce is of- the best. Because everything on the Thanksgiving plate is dry. That's the one thing that kind of fucking lubes it up. Well, dude, it's We're not. We're talking. It's Trojan brand. It's not dry. No, but your mom's a chef. There's no way she doesn't cook you the turkey correct. You can't make wet turkey. Sir, have you ever heard of dark mm-hmm. meat? That's where the wet wet is. Dark meat, a little bit of stuffing, really? wait, some wait, deviled wait, wait, eggs, wait, wait, wait. call Devil your mom eggs. a whore. <laughs> wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, the last one. Uh, well, huh? Yeah. Tour de France, Trevor Wallace on the road doing stand-up comedy at Boulder, Colorado, December 8th, Fort Collins, December 9th, Oklahoma City, OKC, see you there, December 10th, Tulsa, Oklahoma, December 11th, New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th, Atlantic City, New Jersey, December 17th. Red Bank, New Jersey, December 18th, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, January 27th, Charleston, South Carolina, January 28th, Asheville, North Carolina, January 29th, and just added Las Vegas, January 6th. TrevorWallsComedy.com. I'll see you there. Tickets on sale Friday for Vegas. Michael Blaustein doing stand-up comedy December 2nd to the 4th. I'll be in San Antonio, Texas, guys. January 5th to the 7th, I'll be in San Diego. Uh, January 13th to the 15th, I'll be in Raleigh. January 26th to the 28th, I'll be in Jacksonville, Florida. February 10th to the 12th, I'll be in Tampa. February 17th to the 18th, I will be in Virginia Beach. And guys... There's many more in the 2023 tour. Go on BlauComedy.com, BlauComedy.com to go get tickets. New dates popping up every freaking week. Go find your city. What, 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 you don't like deviled this, eggs? I think they're fine. What the fuck? I, I think they're good visually, but I don't want to eat them. They they're are lo- good visually. They, they are. They look really delicious. Also, isn't that fucked up? You take an egg, right? <clears throat> Baby, yep. chicken, somewhere, pita. They fucking put it, they put it in a, in a goddamn air fryer, sous vide, whatever the fuck. Yeah. And then they mix it up and put it back in the egg. That's weird. Mix up the yolk, put it back in, little bit of bacon. It would be like if we died and they mix us up and then put us back on our bones. That's what I'm saying. Weird. Weird. And then people displayed you around the holidays. And they ate you. I think cranberry is the best. I can't. But what I, do you I, go? Honestly, because here's the thing. Turkey alone, fine. But you put turkey with a little bit of the cranberry on it and a little bit of stuffing. Suck my cock sideways. God, that's good. I understand. No, I understand the cranberry. What if you got head just on the side? I have. <laughs> like a harmonica. I have. Really? Yeah. You never had a girl do like, like. I mean, like corn on the cob. Yeah. Not eat it. But like, yeah. To, <laughs> like on the side. Yeah. Okay. Hot. No, but I'm saying. You ever like had full- two girls do that on the side? Holy fuck! Two girls, one cock. Wow. Oh, now, that I mean, Jesus been the porn. Christ. That's the best. I think that's the best visually. Side. If you're looking down and there's two ladies on the side, fucking. Also, a great view for the lady because she gets to look past you versus head. She's just her, just looking at your stomach. God, do you know how many? What a weird ho- view. You know how many horrendous cocks women have run into? I mean, it is just a nightmare. It is like you just you don't know what you got until you drop the pants. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell is that? What is that? That's not a thing. Yeah. Because there's some beautiful cocks. Let me tell you something. I got a nice, beautiful cock. You do? I think aesthetically. Who my told cock you that? You can't tell like yourself that. Eggs. That's like giving yourself your own nickname. Did somebody look at you and be like, wow, this could unlock my pussy? I mean, I've had, I've had, okay, password. I've had, <laughs> <laughs> I've had some ladies be like, that's a nice. You know, I've never had a girl be like, whoa, that's big. I've never had that. Never in my life. Yeah, I've got close to that. I've got variations. You've got big before? 
I literally, I have not told you this. No, nope, but I love this. Was told. Uh oh. Oh, that's that's good for a skinny Jewish white guy like you. You've never. No I one said that. God, you, no one said it to you. I swear to God, in my was life. his name Kanye? Why was he so aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Um, you know. Oh. He was like, oh. yeah. yeah, I was like, you gotta, you know, I'm for a skinny Jewish white kid. I was like, all right, like yeah. the bar. You don't have to bring fucking religion into this. My little cock's got a yarmulke on it all Some, of a sudden. But sometimes you do. I mean, like, because if yeah, you- but what if I was Christian or a small cock? Um, Are Jews packing? No. Uh, eight days and eight nights. That isn't- Hanukkah. Oh. Eight, eight nights Candles. of fucking. Yeah. Dude, they don't fuck. They, is, isn't it like Jews oil? Fuck? What? Yeah. What is oil? That's why they have eight nights, because they're like, oh, man, this oil lasted well, eight the nights. the candle lasted eight nights. Nights. But it was like a little bit of oil, and wow, God made it wet, wet. It was a scheme? Yeah, it was a Ponzi scheme. Who's Ponzi? Who's There's a Ponzu. It's a sauce. That's so good. Ponzu's much better Pot than stickers? cranberry. Pot stickers are elite. Pot stickers. Why don't they just... Here's the thing. Why are we so confined to, quote, unquote, like, traditional Thanksgiving food? Oh, you think last year my just... mom made salmon, no turkey. And I was like, look, I don't want to start a goddamn uproar. That's insane. But Cheryl, what the fuck's going on That's here? That's insane. I will flip a plate. Cause, cause salmon. Cran- cause salmon. Salmon and cranberry? I can't mix those. Salmon and nothing what? goes with salmon. Nothing. I mean, a lot of stuff, but nothing to the Thanksgiving table. You can't do deviled eggs no. and salmon. So what, what's your favorite part about a Thanksgiving meal? The family. Dumb. You want to fuck your whole family. That's <laughs> I do. Why. They're hot. Not all of them. Where, are you, Some you of going them back home? Is huh? it, you're going back home, right? Yep. Are you going to see the cousin you made out with at this Thanksgiving? Uh, no. She lives in Delaware. Well, guess where we're going. Delaware. Delaware. Let's go. And um, Zurich. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're never going to go to Zurich. I we really have want to. to. We have to just put a date on the calendar. We if we do that, go. I'm a big date guy. If we just put it on the list, let's go. Yeah. We'll make, it, we'll make it happen. Book it. And then we'll pick our head up and be like, oh, I got a flight tomorrow. Where am I going? Houston. Oh, nope. Zurich. Yeah. No shows there. What do I pack for that? Just, just a robe? Mayonnaise. A robe and a gun. I feel like it's also in the, the mountains, maybe. So jackets. Oh, do we need a jacket? Yeah, it's just buy them parka? there. Yeah, parka. Dude, I was at the airport this week, and you know how they have a. Uh, you know when they like flag your bag, yep. and they like take it to the end. Yep. And you can kind of see what other people. There was a guy, and he was going through somebody's backpack, and he pulled out literally. I kid you not, maybe twelve butter knives from somebody's bag, like cutlery, all butter knives, like, like wrapped in like a nice metal. Metal butter knives. Wow. And I was like, why are you flying with butter knives? Number one. Yep. Number two, Amazon ship a new set. Why like why are you sh- like you, you brought butter knives on yeah, a they, carry-on? They could be like expensive, like butter knives from like the Civil War. Butter something. knives aren't expensive. Yeah, but if they're like Abraham Lincoln's butter knives, <laughs> like they're pretty expensive. I guess, but it's just so funny to be like as security be like, is this a threat? If you get stabbed by a butter knife, that's on you. Yeah, you deserve it. Yeah. If you get killed you by a butter it, knife, yeah, it's if you your let fault. it go into your skin, that's on you. You're a bitch. I think it just kind of hurts. Like it's annoying. Like it's yeah. just like poking you with a stick. Has has anyone got killed by a butter knife? Definitely. Google it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I think somebody's got stabbed by a spork. I was so upset when they got my uh bag on like a the random whatever the fuck. And I was like, you know how they take your bag and you go, God, you dumb idiots. There's nothing in there. Yeah, yeah. You probably saw the tripod or the whatever the fuck and you think it's a, a, a bomb. Okay. So they bring it to the end and I'm pissed. I'm late for my flight. I'm yeah. like, oh, well, God Also, how it. I pack is so congested in there. You, yes. Once you unzip it, it's like. Bling. It's over. Yeah. It's over. He goes, and, I'm, and again, in my head, I'm like, this idiot is on a fucking job. Stupid places. It's so blah, blah, blah. Takes out a full water bottle. Full water bottle. And I go, yep. That's on my me. My bad. That's on me. I was so heated until he goes, is this yours? Because I had like 17 five-hour energies and I was like, oh, he's going to pull up, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. Takes a whole water bottle. My bad. I fucked up. It's like the first time I've ever flown. Do Someone behind s- me is like, this fucking idiot has never oh, flown yeah. before. Do you ever see people that like, they right before they go through a security, they're just glugging down a water bottle? Yeah. And I'm like, there's water in there. So much water. It's not- And the, it's a water We're not back too. in Egypt, back in, the, back in the 1800s. We'll be okay. 1800s? They had a bunch of water in the 1800s. Cut all that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Was there a time when there's no water? Droughts. Yeah, dust bowls. Dust, dust bowls? When was the dust bowl? I think that was 1800s. There we go. I'd rather eat a dust bowl than cranberry. So what's your go-to? Uh, like, if I had to choose one. What's your highlight? What are you the most excited for on a Thanksgiving party? You know what I love to do? Besides make, down, make out with my cousin? I would love to what take- was ju- No, no. We'll just- It's fine. Mm. Well, uh, what I love to do is I like to take dark meat from a turkey and then dip it in the gravy. 
Holy fuck. Yeah. Make it extra. Oh, what's up, dog? Oh, shit. How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're just doing that right now. God damn. What was that? Your cock. My probably? cock, because it's hard. Blue Chew, baby, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Blue Chew ad. What is Blue Chew? I'll tell you. It's for, uh, it's for that little dangly thing in between your legs. Cock. 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 Yeah. It one. has the same ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Yep. Every time Cialis? I take one. Cialis. 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 I take one. It's chewable tablet. You don't got to freaking time it right because that's mm -mm. insane. I can't even cook a chicken right. You think I'm going to cook my cock cook right? all day. I don't even know what the hell's happening. All I do, day. I do know that I chew it and I'm just fucking ready. Rocked up. cock a doodle do. Well, what about if you don't need help getting rocked up? Well, I'll tell you what, man. Freaking second round. Second round. Second round, your cock be sleepy. Second Not anymore. Second round draft pick. Pick. AKA Dick. Dick. So, we did it. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, th this is the best stuff because they can send it straight to your door. No doctor's office, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line, no finding parking, no validating. The only validation you need is on your C O C K, baby. Cock. That spells cock. That spells cock. And we have a special deal for our listeners. Yes, you can do. try Blue True for free. Free. How free. much? Free. But what? All you got to do uh, is use promo code SOCKS and just pay five bucks for shipping. That's it. That's it, dude. Bluechew.com promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Visit Bluechew.com for more details, important safety informations. Um, informations? There's plural. <laughs> now, there's multiple information. Yeah, of course. Okay. And we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring the podcast. Bluetooth.com promo code SOCKS. Socks. For your first month free. Just pay five dollars for shipping. That's it. God damn. It's funny if a dude took his helmet off and he had a photo not of like his girlfriend, just a Camaro in there. Oh, that'd be I good. Love it. Oh, I bet there were some guys like that, especially back in Vietnam. I think you just took whatever you lo you loved out there with you. It could have been a picture of a food because back then they didn't even have that many pictures. What would the picture no, be in your helmet? You, you would just draw. Etch it. A bunch of dudes play etch so like you know like a vagina or like maybe a tit. Or oh two. yeah, my picture. My picture would have been probably a drawn. Just like a drawing a of a drawing? or something, Volvo, yeah. or whatever you know, uvil. I'm not sure what it's I'll called. I'll probably draw but... a girl being like, "You're so big." Like that's what it'd say. Just a girl saying that. Then I'd think about it. But what if you put world. on weight then, though? Damn, <sighs> fuck. But when you get bigger, does your dick get bigger? No, I think it's no. the opposite. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, because you get Where does bigger. It go? No, yeah. you get bigger, so to scale, it looks smaller. It's like you ever sit in front of, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of Dear John letters where guys write letters to the dick they used to be able to see on their body, That's remember? Crazy. Have you seen that? They just look down, it's gone. I put well, a mirror just down It's harder there. to get. And you oh, you got to use a yeah, selfie stick you, to look at your your dick every once in a while? I mean, is there a sadder moment? I think then I just swallow a rifle at that moment. If you look down, <laughs> oh. if you look down you and it's gone. You I it? join a gym before I fucking go straight to the gun. Yeah, but, huh? but the yeah. guns is easier, man. You, then you got to sweat. But think about it. Scare of but it. then once you start working out. Kill himself, <laughs> Yeah, just go to a fun house. There's mirrors yeah, everywhere, dude. dude. There's <laughs> angles you can see your dick. This guy's a bad afternoon and he's just but shooting himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but dude, again, I, I know. I'm razor thin, man. Yeah, I Once you lose yeah. all that weight, it's exciting to see your dick again. You're yeah, like a stepdad saying, huh? who came back home. You're like, yeah. you again? <laughs> I haven't seen you since 08. Dude, that you would be such a great video. Somebody has like a video and slowly their stomach's going down. Yeah. Right? And it's the just like. The weight loss challenge at LA Fitness. It's I like saw my song. dick again. Yeah. yeah, when it's like, and he's like, and, and like a sweet song. It's like, and then he show back. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? well, I mean it's got to be exciting. You just see like just the tip one day, yeah. and then you see like a little bit more of the head. I wish you there. could make a, your dick get out of a truck or something. Wouldn't that look fucking awesome? D what kind of truck do you think your dick would have? I mean, probably a, just a you know nothing too big. You don't want to have to jump yeah. out of the fucking truck. I'll probably go like, like a, that's gonna make it look bad. Yeah, I go like a Nissan. It's like a respectable company, but a, a good truck. But yeah. it's not. But it's not top of the line. It's not you know Ford. Think, I think like a Wrangler. Cause Wrangler, like, not, that's Jeep Wrangler, but not with big tires. I think mine could jump out of like one with regular like tires standard on tires. Yeah, I'd go low rider, small. El I would Camino. go something with a lawnmower in the back, dude. I would go like <laughs> like it works. This that hard Shout out work. To yeah, 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 totally, you know? totally. <laughs> I think El Camino would be great. I think uh, you ever seen the Subaru trucks? That's probably the worst truck out there. Have you ever seen the Subaru trucks? No, they do. It's like it? a Subaru Outback. It has a truck bed in the back. Uh. Oh, like a Ute. But that's a lot of people I feel like that kill their wives like in up in like uh Oregon. Oh, it's called a Baja. That's kind of hard. My car would be the Subaru Baja. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, that's kind of sick. You can put two Yetis in the back and then just a that's four door. kind of sick. That bitch has carving, dude. That's the worst looking fucking vehicle I've that's ever seen. That's a car seen. you get. If you have that car in Grand Theft Auto, cops are about to catch you real quick. That's like, I like men, but I ain't telling my wife. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to fucking. I think, dude, imagine pulling up in the valet with that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Dude, why is it two tone? It's kind of like like a dick. Is this your dick two tone? Uh, mine's two tone. I'll be the first. Two tone. I mean, yeah. They all are, aren't they? Isn't there yeah, that yeah, kind yeah. of like uh, top part? I thought you there's said like the yours. sedimentary part, and then there's like the prehistoria or whatever. Prehistoria or whatever. Prehistoria. It's Dinosaurs. Like the, 
There's like the molten part or whatever. I don't know. I, I haven't seen it. Like Gabe, a, can we Google it? cock tone <laughs> colors, please? Or just <laughs> no, I, I know, think so. I know what you mean when you when you like cut the earth and you look and you can see how long like the a, soil's been around. Yeah. Like a gumball. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Jawbreaker. Yeah, it's like how many rungs are in here or whatever. Yeah, that would be like, cool if you could tell how many people you've had sex with. You know how trees have this, the rings of the lining. Yeah, it'd be cool if your dick had that. Actually, it wouldn't be cool for some it, people because you couldn't cool. lie. Yeah, if, like you, I fuck a lot. You got one ring on there mm. and it's tattooed on with the, the henna. If you're in the yeah. middle, you're good. Right. If you're on the one, you're fucked. And if you're on the thousand, every girl's going to go. I bet it's a glitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a birthmark. <laughs> yeah. We're talking Thanksgiving food near Theo. We got Theo Vaughn in here real quick. Um, what's your what's your highlight on the Thanksgiving plate? I'm I like, like cranberry like a psychopath. You are what kind of cranberry, though? That jelly, like that not, freaking. Not the jelly one, but just like when it's all blended up, it's like a little bit of, because it adds like that little bit of that tartness. Oh, rich makes people. That turkey, yeah. yeah. And what it makes you that turkey a little wild. I like dark meat dipped in gravy. Oh, dude. Poor people shit. <laughs> yeah, Dark meat That's homoerotic. <laughs> That's Subaru Baja energy yeah, right dude, there. That is a little bit of uh, black.com, bro. <laughs> I feel like a Dark meat bit. dipped in gravy does sound like a yeah, uh, yeah. How are you eat? How are you taking an it in? Slow, of, dude, a title, real yeah. slow. You've seen that like title the somewhere. Somewhere yeah, on Pornhub.com. <laughs> Dark in, meat in dipped in gravy. They used to do suppositories, even I think for Thanksgiving, they had like a... You know, like a meal or something. You just put a whole meal in your ass and keep fighting, dude. A that's whole fucking meal? crazy. Or well, they, they had like put, a. That's efficient. I wish we had that. So I don't really love the fact that the whole thing of eating and cooking, all that's annoying to me. Yeah. If you could do a suppository like meal. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just do a line of whey protein every morning. Yeah. Good for like four hours. Just I one hate pill the whole. Done. You got to eat your body, your stomach's making noise. Oh. Shut up. Are you into the whole like cooking and all that? You know what I mean? All that jazz. About you mean getting... taking care of myself, surviving. You mean? But I guess. But the like whole, the whole like rigmarole you got to go through, like cooking and fucking, and then you got dishes and all that shit. Like, but we... like when you're on the road, you, oh, you like, guys this... just are a bunch of a couple of smoothie boys, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at me, dude. Bro, I'm gonna talk about your son's <laughs> teeth are gonna fall out because they're not gonna be used. You oh know that, yeah, right? dude. My diet consists of Sour Patch Kids and a Slim Jim. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. most of my day, I, I eat like I'm always at the movies. <laughs> I yeah, I I eat like I'm like. Like a sixth grader that won the lottery. But, but you That's do the road me. a lot. When you're on the road, are you just getting just like some some hot tamales and a and a yuhu? Or what are no, we doing? Do chicken spinach every night, and then I do uh oh. I do a eggs for breakfast, and I do a chicken spinach every night. What about lunch? Um, you, you got it? a wild card in there. I'll do two lunches at I do two dinners. Okay, no lunches. That's fucking two alpha. dinner. What do you do at two p.m. Just. Huh? Stare Fuck off it? into nature. Just fucking batting down the hatches. Yeah, but yeah. what do you do for <laughs> okay. lunchtime? Do you just fucking go close through it? the cellar door and look for the Lord, son? Um, <laughs> what was your last question? Sorry, I got. But run what do you, you do around lunchtime? When everyone else is eating lunch, are you just sitting there with your thoughts, being like, "I'm eating on my"? I'm dreams? in the woods with fucking binoculars, just saying, "Hey, <laughs> what are you looking at?" Huh? Looking at a bunch of pussies. That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> Okay, because I'm waiting till it's time to eat when the sun goes Real down, chicken. dude. So yeah. if somebody's like, you want to go to lunch, you just say, nah, I want to go to dinner at 2 p.m. Yeah, I'll be like, nah, call your dad and tell him <laughs> what kind of life you're living, bro. I'll see you at dinner. That's so you have, so you, have a, you have a late breakfast. I'll eat, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a breakfast probably like around 11, maybe. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, the same. Okay, yeah. okay. And yeah, then you do the like a five o'clock dinner. If you type wake thing. up and eat, dude, you're, you're sick. wild. Yeah, you're in the hospital. You're wild. Yeah. Like, why would you how do you it? Hungry? Yeah. How, yeah. how big is your day coming up? We got to eat at 8 a.m. You running tough mutters? <laughs> yeah. It's a Tuesday, Devin. It's a Tuesday. <laughs> Dude, thanks for letting me stop in. I'm sorry I can't stay long because no, I have to dude. go somewhere. We're looking at another studio space. Uh, oh. Around here or somewhere else? But not far. I thought they were just building yours, no? Eight minutes away. No, they wouldn't let us get that unit. We might not take it, though, because I like Damn. I like being so close. So, so final words, what's your favorite thing on a Thanksgiving plate? I would say probably the tur the gelatin, uh, the cranberry, but it has to be cranberry. That, that glop, that, that chunk. I understand. The one that mean. comes yeah. out of the can? Yeah, the one that definitely seemed like it, like a plan, the planned plan parenthood. Oh, yeah, it came out of a fleshlight. I mean, it yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 you got to get it out. Just yeah. Yeah. Rub I don't know. This thing should grow up. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, <laughs> well, Theobald, thanks for fucking All right, love you, man. Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, guys. All yeah, right, take care, too, man. man. Back in, thank you to Theo Vaughn for popping in real quick. Um, we we happen to have a studio in the same neighborhood as him. Yeah. And good friend. Always a and, um, always a goddamn pleasure. Always what a, what a fun. A, what a gem of an American hero. He Just is. like a quick little comedy tornado. Comes in, fucks it up real quick, gives some good laughs, gets in, gets out. Keeps Goodbye. it moving. Keeps it moving. Yeah, who needs an hour and a half of a podcast? I would love to have it for a full episode. Me would. But Me also. Me would. What? 
Me would is what me I just would? said. Me would? Me would. End of my sentence. God. What the hell? Me would. Cop, narc, not a real person. 100%. Human. I'm a computer. So you're going dark, me. What are you guys doing for best Thanksgiving the meal I'm, on, on I'm, a, I'm a stuffing guy through and through. Give me stuffing like is great. Crispy stuffing with like a little bit of fried fucking or bread, the breaded shit on top. Breaded, I don't know, I don't know the stuffing is bread. It. Yeah, the you whole doing thing's bread, bread on bread? No, yeah, I guess I'm talking about just regular ass stuffing. Do you uh, like onions in your stuffing? Yeah, yeah, onions yeah in the stuffing. half. What, what was it? Onions in your stuffing. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah you they put gravy on stuffing. It's so sad. It's not. Well, no, I can't eat gravy. Most mostly can't eat gravy anymore. What? Oh, vegetarian? Yeah. Yeah. Ve vegetarian or vegan? I forget. Vegan. I'm He's, sorry. What? What? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What is the difference? Uh, vegan is no no animal products at all. So like no milk, no cheese. no butter. Yeah. Yeah. Can you but breastfeed? Yeah, I think I could breastfeed. But hold on. <laughs> but like, what? What's the? What's the? Why is it no milk for cows? You have to get it out. Well, I mean, what? you have to you have to force <laughs> them to get pregnant to get them for them to start making milk. Cows have to be pregnant to make milk. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they like they can't human. just. They can't just. Yeah, they don't just roll around with whole milk <laughs> in their assholes or whatever they keep. Uh, they yeah, I thought no. they did. Nah. All right, so we're two for two. Jack, thank God. The Philly boy's on my side. I mean, Jack didn't graduate high school. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the cows had to be pregnant to make milk? Yeah. So what do dude cows do? Are those bulls? Those are bulls. Yeah. They, that's They're what in Chicago. <laughs> Somebody, Hold on, please. Michael Jordan. <laughs> what do you guys think is the best Thanksgiving food to like bring in the bedroom? What? To eat off your girl's like vagina? Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going to go two for two. Cranberry. You know I'm gonna do mashed potatoes. <clears throat> what the no, fuck? that's too heavy. I'm gonna go the deviled egg filling. <laughs> <laughs> ew, ew. Well, yeah, it's all ew, ew. Here's it looks thing. like you just cream pied and left it in. Good. Yo, some girls that, be liking that. What cream pie? Getting cream pie, but then like leaving it in, walking around. They're at the fucking mm. Whole Foods, just dripping down their kneecaps. I don't know if they like it. No, they told me. Who? All of them. Damn. <laughs> Um, here's the thing though. I think if you bring in a turkey leg, <laughs> what are you, Disneyland? Well, here's the thing. If you bring in a turkey leg, medieval at, times after, type thanks, beat? after Thanksgiving, do you got the itis? So yeah, then you come and you got a turkey leg. You don't gotta you don't have to fuck, you just shove it in there. Then she's like, Oh my god, you're so big, daddy. You're like, Yep. You shove a turkey leg in there? Yep. That's me. That's how they fucking clash of clans. <laughs> That's how they what? I don't know. Oh. Tell they fucking clash of clans. I'll say it again. Oh, oh, clash oh, clans, yeah, video game. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But no, like no. barbarics. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think the the best would. Well, you if you're doing dessert, you could do like a little. Yeah. Pumpkin what pie. What if you just and this is insane and don't do this. But what if you did a whole plate on the cooter? You got a little bit of turkey, a little bit of stuffing mm -hmm. for the stuffing. Oh. But then you got like a little bit of like the mashed potatoes and then like and then, oh, okay, hear me <laughs> out. And then you got like a little bit of. Uh, the cranberry on top, and then you like make your round, and you go down, up, and around, and, and finish have, it off. Make a now, whole that's meal a full palate. That pussy palate. Oh, hold, could be what, a title. What if you treat the vagina like a turkey, and you put stuffing in there? Mm. Nobody, mm -hmm. no that's stuffing. Good. The actual stuffing that he loves, you put it in the vajay -jay, So the so essentially the vagina is is kind of like a turkey. And then you dress the turkey as if you would an actual turkey. You put a little gravy on it. And then when you're eating the cooter, you're getting cooter, but you're also eating stuffing at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel like this is a big UTI energy. This would not do something great for the vagina. Yeah. Well, dude, here's the thing. But stuffing is mostly bread. Ugh, so yeast. if you, yeah, if you go yeast on yeast on yeast, I think you're like combating the actual yeast infection. You're right. I am. I'm a doctor. You're a bakery. Hold on. Bakery. What? I almost said bakeryist, but what is it called when you're a, a, a bakery? A baker? A baker. A baker. Why am I so tired? I f should feel fine. I don't know. What is happening? What's a baker's dozen? 13. Who does the fuck? Why the fuck does he need one there? more? Is he trying to fuck? I, well, I think it's because he's got to try one. What? Oh my God. That's is so that real. It? Yeah, because he's baking the dozen of them, but he's like, I got to make sure. How do you feel when bartenders taste your drink with a straw? Get out of my shit. <laughs> I've ne all true, but I've never seen them be like, mm, it's off because they're making it. So they're like, oh, it's perfect. You can take it. You can take it out of like that silver cup, but do not take it out of the glass you just poured me. I don't right. know why. It once it's in my once it's in the glass, it's mine. It's funny if you do it out of like a not alcoholic drink. You just you pour somebody a Pepsi, you know. Yeah. Oh, Fresca. Good. Or Jamba Juice. Mm. Wouldn't like be funny if the chef did it and put it down and then tasted your mashed potatoes with his hands? How come chefs never wear gloves? Just because you're wearing a hat, your hands are clean? Fuck you, put gloves on. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Great question. Chefs, they're wild. They're doing cocaine in the back off of fucking sourdough bread. I don't trust you at all. 
Chefs are wackadoo people. Oh, yeah. They're all addicted to the fentanyl. Whole, well, that's what's so funny about some of these, like, <laughs> addicted to fentanyl. All these, like, nice five-star restaurants out front, they're like, oh, Monsieur, uh, Monsieur Sir Wallace, right here. It's dark, bomb that lighting. <laughs> Um, Dracula on a vacation. Uh, Sir Wallace. Dracula but, on a vacation. But in the back. Like it's a different accent. Yeah, he's more relaxed. <laughs> I, dude, dude, this is my impersonation of a horny Dracula. I okay. want to suck your cock. That's not bad. It sounds a bit Italian. Does it? Where's Transylvania? Is that a real place? Pennsylvania. Yeah. Let's go fuck a goddamn vampire. You know there's a vampire in my show with teeth? You know there's a diary? He said he was a vampire. I got to clip that. What am I doing? It was at Portland. He literally said he was yeah. a vampire. And I said, but all right. like for real? Or was he like for doing it for real, clips? dog. And I said, where? I said, where, when were you born? And he said, like 1406. He had a whole story. Well, that was like the lovely lady we had on the Patreon who was a- A nutcase? A carrot card reader. Uh -huh. Tarot card. What? A carrot, carrot card. She's like, uh, <laughs> carrot cake. She's like, I'm not from here. I'm from a different realm. And we're like, oh, for sure. And then later she's like, oh, I'm from Napa Valley. I'm like, well- <laughs> Napa Maybe Valley. a different tax bracket, but not different realm. Did she say Napa Valley for real? Or she said something. I, so. I thought she said maybe humble. She was like from humble. Definitely like North Cal Northern California. Humble. Yeah, they do weed there for sure. They That's the whole weed? thing. Yeah. When was the last time you did the weed? It's been a while. Me too. Just get. I mean, just just you know where my head's been at the past months. I feel like weed is not going to be like no. I want to. I wish I could like look at a joint and be like, this will make me feel this way. And I know a lot of them are like new age and they're like, it's creative. It's a sativa. No, I come and I'm laying in bed and my heart rate is coming out of my eyes. Yeah. And then my brain goes, hey, your career is not where you want it to be. And then you're like, no, don't do this. It's two in yeah. the morning. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm up editing. It's fucking trash editors. What the hell's happened? I'm high. I'm trying high. to write jokes. I'm, I'm writing jokes about Cinnabons. Why are Cinnabons so good? Can we talk about that? God, I need a gluten-free one. I, there's, there's got to be. Yeah, I think frozen for sure. But Cinnabon, the ones they make at the mall, they need, do they have candles? They have to. If Cinnabon doesn't make candles, they're idiots. But then again, if you work at Cinnabon, you're an idiot. Just kidding. I love you. But like, ah, God, how do I? Yo, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Like, if Why don't they make a scented candle? Yeah, dude, you let us. Holy shit. Because you walk past a bitch at the mall and you know. You don't even have to look at the the the... The directory. You know if a cinnamon you know is there. Is. Yeah. You can feel it in your bones. You go, I find it like smell a, that? Like a drug dog. Warm, warm hug from from me ma. It's that. It's these are the two smells that fuck me up every time. It's uh the cinnamon smell and the popcorn smell at any movie theater. I don't I, I like popcorn, like it. But when I go, I go, cool, now I have to get popcorn every time I smell it. Do you think they put anything smells. in the air? I've heard that about Cinnabon, that they, they put it in the vents, that they like what? try to get it going through no. the mall. Just a whole ass Cinnabon or like just cinnamon flavor? I just flavor. think something about the, the way that like where a Cinnabon is built in the mall, like above some air vents so that they can try to get it through. That sounds like QAnon. It's, there's, <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way one store in an entire mall has access to an AC well, unit and could put just a, a fucking fresh Cinnabon. But also, there's one Cinnabon employee at four and one has to go in there and just put a fresh Cinnabon in the AC unit. Such a hoax. Birds aren't real either. Go ahead. <laughs> but they're the only store in the mall for the most part that they're drop top. They don't got any doors on that bitch. They're convertible. So all their scents go out. Everywhere else, you walk into a hostel. You walk into a pack sun. You know, they have doors, but, <clears throat> yeah, but they're they just do, zoned out. They do do some shit. They don't do it in the vents. That's some Q&R shit. What do they do? But they, they make sure... That's why Cinnabons are mostly found in malls and airports is because they want the smell to linger around. They make sure that they're cooking cinnamon rolls every 30 minutes, even if they don't need more, just so the sm smell is what, always... What big. do they do with all of them? I don't know. Maybe... That's like those, those damn bacon wrap hot dogs. They be... The second you leave any Fuck. event, just... <laughs> Smell that? Smells like I'm shitting myself tomorrow. Oh, they're so good. Uh, they're cooking them on a goddamn Ralph shopping cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where where's the heat come from? I don't. I was just thinking that the other night. And Do they I, have like a like a car battery underneath there or something? Uh, propane tank? Huh? Oh, propane. Like propane. That but, makes but, but way like, more sense. But like, what is it? Just like a general heater, or like multiple things, Probably multiple like flames. A thing with burner. I could find out. Yeah, I don't they know. also they keep their ovens at the front of the Cinnabon. So that like the smell fucking goes. Out. Oh yeah, well fucking uh, Wetzel's pretzels and Auntie Anne's, they make the pretzels in the front so people get attracted to be like, whoa, he's doing it. There's something so funny about somebody watching somebody make a thing where people are like, oh, uh, 
It's just he, like, he's and, folding a pretzel. It's just like that TikTok shit. You have TikToks where people like making a thing. Like you, it's like mesmerizing for some odd reason. Yo, yeah. But Wetzel's Wetzel's pretzel. Are you guys Wetzel guys or uh, Auntie Anne's? Wetzel. I go Wetzel's all the way. I think it. I mean, you guys, both of you guys are dumb, but I think. What do you like? Yeah, it's East Annie Coast. Annie yeah, Annie I knew cinnamon? it. It's Auntie Anne's cinnamon. Anne's cinnamon. No. cinnamon dog. This bitch doesn't know how to make a damn pretzel. Who the hell is Wetzel? All she's doing is soaking some stupid Utz pretzels in some water and just waiting for them to expand. First of all, Auntie no. Anne is a Wetzel's nice lady. Pretzels, they got the little dunks. They got the little cheese. They do like like mm. they are like the uh, like the Buffalo Wild Wings of pretzels. They got mm. because it's not even about the pretzel. They got like the jalapeno ones, the cheddar ones. They got the yeah. the, 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 the hot pizza dog ones. In it. The pizza ones. Yeah. Here's the thing, dude. Wetzels. Those that, think of that name, the German name. Those are Nazi sympathizers Uh-oh. for sure. Think Auntie of it. Anne? Wetzel, Auntie Anne. Was she a throw goat back in 1923? Probably. Let's pull up a photo. I need to see who's who's looks better. Auntie oh, Anne's or Wetzel's pretzels. This is a good one. God damn. The holiday season is here, and the best deal in wireless can be found at Mint, Mint Mobile, dude. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any any three month plan, you'll get another three months for free huh as the first company to sell premium wireless service online only whoa dude just do it all <laughs> over your phone it's that, 15 dollars a use month use your phone why wouldn't you want to do it over the phone ask right? me if i you have mint mobile do you have mint mobile yes dude it's freak i'm telling you i had verizon subscribing before yeah. yep trashola okay yeah. switch over dumb to mint idiots dumb dumb switch over to mint freaking uh let me tell you a secret you do it all online I didn't have to call nobody. Little switcheroo. Right. Super That's the easy. future. Buddy, $15 a month is crazy. And your phone service is my phone so much better. My phone now works in my apartment, which sounds crazy, but when I had Verizon, didn't work. Okay? Trash. Yeah. Screw highly Verizon. Recommend. Yeah. Highly recommend. Also, Ryan Reynolds is hot. So for a limited time, buy any three months Mint Mobile plan and get three months free by going to mintmobile.com slash socks. One more time, that's mintmobile.com slash socks. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. At mintmobile.com slash socks. God damn. What's those pretzels just has that. They, they're on the go. They're ready for the mall. They give you a cup. You can do a cup of pretzel bites and you just dunk it. Yeah, but that's what Auntie Anne's does too. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. I haven't been to one. Annie Anne is uh, she a whore. Is Amish. Hunter. Amish? She's Amish, yeah. yeah. Who do you think makes better uh, shit? Bakery stuff. An Amish person? How the person? fuck she get in the mall? All right, so here's, All right, here here's we an go. auntie Anne. I'm starving. Holy shit. These oh, look so wow. good. Those, those oh, look, that's a copycat. That's not even hers. This ew. is hers. Who's this? This is Auntie Anne. This looks fine. That looks dry as hell. Yeah. Oh, you guys that are looks dumb. Dry. Jack, please talk in the mic. I wouldn't even feed that they, to my cat. I mean, first of all, I had a two-star review. That's crazy. That's not that crazy. That's, the cinnamon one would be... If I was in a dimly lit movie theater, I'd go for the... The cinnamon one. This is so now good. type in Wetzel's pretzels. You're fucking. I know, but they're gonna have better photos. Will be lubed up. If you if look you, at that, look at that look butter at that, shining dude. off of that. Pretzel. Yeah, but this is that's bullshit photo. You picked the dude. worst Auntie Anne's photo in the whole world. Little bagel dog or uh, pretzel bites in the <laughs> motherfucking. How do you feel about uh, <laughs> that's your dog? Yep. How do you feel about bagel bites? Fire, great, so good. <gasps> oh my god, dude, where was I? I was in fucking. What? Oh, I was in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville? Thank you for everyone who came out to the shows. But the point of me bringing this up is I went to this place called w- Wild Eggs, I think. Dude, they had this biscuit. I'm so sorry, Trev. They had this biscuit mm-hmm. that was an everything biscuit. Oof. It was, I'm not shitting you, dude. It was one of the, one of the best things I've ever had in my life. It really? was like- Was there anything else on it or just the- No, it was just like- in, Just dunked in everything? It, but it, the everything, I know what you're thinking because that's what I thought it was going to be. Like just like a regular- um, like a regular uh, biscuit or muffin, whatever, like dunked on the top. None of that was on top. It was all baked in. Hmm. So like you take a bite and it was so moist and it had this like kind of like salty sweet thing happen. It was, it was the craziest. It was, I, I, I've never had anything like that. Like if I, I want to bring one to you and then you break your yeast fast for that one day. Was there gravy with it or just straight up raw dog straight and biscuit? Up, was it not dry? No, a dr- biscuits I mean, straight up are, they are. You're risking it. You are. Are you a are you a um a Popeyes biscuit guy or a KFC guy, or none of those? I, well, uh, probably. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I've ever had a biscuit from a, a, either of those two just because the gluten shit. But Uh-oh. but not. I think I've definitely had a KFC biscuit. Yeah, for sure, Popeyes definitely have. Crazy. Popeyes ones are crazy, but that bitch. I mean, it'll dry you out. 
oh, talking oh, about a dust bowl. You got to dip it. You got to dip it in some. You're just dipping it in Pepsi just for some, <laughs> just for some liquids. Um, yeah, I, I think a good dude. I used to um, like in college, we go to like a Denny's after like a party or something, and we were balling on a budget. Denny's used to do like a four dollars, and it was just uh, biscuits and gravy, and like hash browns. Oh, that's great. So good. You just throw it all in a bowl. <laughs> God. That's what I did this morning. I just made a whole thing. I had this frozen rice from Trader Joe's. Put that bitch what? on there. Yeah. You ever had uh, frozen like fried I have, rice? but for breakfast? Yeah, it's like a breakfast bowl. You put rice, I had three eggs, and a goddamn uh, cut up sausage. And I had a little bit of barbecue sauce. Bitch. What? Bitch. What are you on? Chopped? Why are you Maybe? putting barbecue sauce with rice? It was so good. It was the sriracha barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's. Ah. Changed, my whole life's different. Dude, I've been big on spicy honey. You ever had that? Hot no, honey? No, but that sounds so good. Yeah. Hot honey? Fire. Insane. I went to a pizza place that had it on the pizza. What place did you go to? It's some fucking vegan pizza place. Secret pizza? Mm. Shh. <laughs> Everyone's off this podcast. Uh, yeah, there's a place in Santa Monica. We're just shouting out places. You're shouting yeah. out eggs Wild in a eggs. hole. Yeah. What is it? Wild eggs. Prime Pizza, Santa Monica. They do uh, gluten-free Detroit-style deep dish. Fuck! Fuck Dude, Prime right. Pizza sounds so... Oh, no, I wouldn't mean sounds. I've been there. Really? Isn't there, isn't there a whole thing? What's that pizza place I always go to? Blaze. My bad. Different one. Sorry. Blaze is a chain restaurant. Oh, that's not a chain restaurant. Uh, LeBron James there. invests in that. Does it's he? It's got to be good. He needs to invest in his hairline. <laughs> Can we go back to Thanksgiving for one minute? Sure. Yeah. Jack, uh, Jack sent this article over here, and I think it's uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's a ranking of the best sex positions for uh thanksgiving food you were conceived on thanksgiving due to cocaine right i was (laughs) happy birth conceived day or whatever the fuck wait conceived means when you were had or when you were nutted when i was nutted nutted. i was nutted go ahead you know like osmosis jones when back in that cartoon they would like go in your body do you think your sperm cell was like like i'm happy to be here or i'm gonna get first place because you're a competitive guy do you think your sperm cell was like let's go or you're just like shooting out like just i'm just picture you were like speeding Oh yeah, I think. Do you oh, think the, you were the, kicking other sperm and like the kneecaps to like yes, get ahead of them? Yeah, I was not. The You're big, the guy. You made it. Yeah, I was not. All the, of us made it. Isn't that crazy? We're all miracles. Yeah. This little light of mine. I, I think my sperm wasn't the biggest, but you I know think that. it. I think it played. Hold on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think it played a little dirty though. I think it was kicking. That's what people. I'm saying. Like yeah. water polo level. Oh yeah. Water polo would be dirty as fuck. But like kind of horny. If you look underneath, just kicking yeah. dudes. And then if a ref's like, we're gonna put a camera down there, like, are you? No. Why are you, you zoomed that? in on my feet? Yeah. I'm not even, I'm on the sidelines. <laughs> yeah, water bullet. My friend played growing up. He's like, yeah, you just punch guys in the dick underwater. You're just dirty because you're kicking them and you're yeah. just trying to get past them. I Anyways, just, sperm. Yeah, come, sperm. Thanksgiving. You were a, yeah, you were they a were cum bo- baby. Hot, just <laughs> both high on cocaine. My dad just nutted in my mom and now I'm here. But Isn't that so weird? It's very weird. But also, if there's ever a time to do cocaine, probably Thanksgiving because turkey, tryptophan, makes you tired. Cocaine levels you out. So they were normal. Yeah, my dad used to tell me that we get high as shit as kids. And I'm like, oh, God, that's crazy. Everyone's smoking weed. And then my grandma would be like, Grandma Phyllis, shout out Phyllis Blaustein, uh, would call them all and they'd be high as shit just eating Thanksgiving. That sounds like the best way to do it. Being high at Thanksgiving? I've never been high at I, If I was by myself, great. But by like family where it's, because oh, like Thanksgiving, yeah. it's always like, like, it's like just like, so much eye contact. It's very bright. You're catching up. How are things? How are the... And you're just high as fuck being like... Yeah. And also uh, your like weird aunt corners you and says, I... Yeah. Did I ever tell I've you? always had a thing for you. Did I, no. I told you guys this. Yeah. All right. What? My, my aunt told me that she wanted to beat up my dad. I was like, God Wait, Did you tell damn. us this one? I thought uh, you yeah. said your there aunt was a, There was a lot of... A, oh, no, no. There's there, a lot of incestual there, activities in the blouse so on residency. So there's two... Listen, dude, I feel like I'm just the only guy that's okay with just admitting it. Everyone in this room right now has had some weird experience with aunt or uncle, but no one wants to say it. No. Right? Not an aunt no. or uncle. Well, you guys aren't hot then. That's the fuck about <laughs> <laughs> My dad, on the other hand. There we go. What? Oh, what about you, him? Your dad wanted... Oh. I came out of his penis. I love that. Mm. You did. Isn't that so weird? Yeah, pause, dad. Come on. You couldn't have a woman? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Me, fucking weirdo. Me? Out of your dad's dick. <laughs> At one point, you are at one point, I had a goddamn futon in my dad's balls, and I was sitting there. I wonder how long I was in there for. In your balls? Yeah. Yeah, when were you created? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, are they, so are they just like... ready for the draft? Is that what it is? Yep. Coming is the draft. Because <laughs> well, there's people that don't make it. It's not like you come at... Well, you do come everything. 
I think, do you come everything? I think there's probably like one or two still left in the bottom. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean like how tiny sperm cells are like, you know, the part that's just kind of like remin of the residue on the, on the tip. Yeah. Those Dude. were sperm. Those sperm are like, hell yeah, I'm in the vagina. And then there's they, on the ground. They went to like the spirit Halloween in like November. Like it's been ran through. It's done. It's, it's done here. There's, oh yeah, there's no eggs. Fuck. That must be so depressing. You swim all that way. Well, dude, think about being a sperm and you end up and you're like, why am I in a pumpkin? <laughs> like the amount of times cum is like getting ready to go down the old, the old tunnel. Yep. Long tunnel. Yeah. Big car. And then he gets shot out and then it's midair like, yeah. Wait, what is this? Is Hold this up. the build a bear? This is a microwave door. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, you ever think they're like, man, I want to go back? Yes. <clears throat> Boomerang yeah. cock. Uh, I'm so sorry. Gabe, Gabe what, was what, what was the question? Uh, so it wasn't a question. It's just, this is an article. This is a ranking of the top seven uh, post Thanksgiving sex positions for when you've eaten too much turkey. Asleep, number one. So you, you're not fucking on Thanksgiving? Sir, I can't fuck after I have a fish fillet. You think I'm gonna fuck after all this turkey tryptophan running through my? There we yeah, go. Yeah, I was gonna say the first one has to ones. be the first one has to be the lay down. Grind. I don't. My dick's not big enough for that. What? No, I think it's it so, is. It maybe I've just never done it right. Does your? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never. I, come on, Michael. Listen, no, no, I'm just Michael. saying. Like, I've never like this position. I just, I, I so. It's all about the angles. Then maybe I just haven't done angle myself right. Every time I try to do this, I'm like, yeah, this is fucking stupid. I can't, I can't beat it up. No, that was, I remember the first time I was ever at my parents' house with a lady and they were next door. That was the one. Cause you gotta be quiet. Funny if somebody walks in and you're just like, we're cuddling. I mean, Cock inside. Oh, inside. Yeah. Yeah. Started talking about the, the Packers game. Um, I, I don't think, yeah. I mean, sure. That makes sense. I'm probably could do that position, but I just, it's just not. It's not a fun one for me. But yeah, that makes total sense. So number two is just what in the mutual fuck is masturbation. Oh, you both just get after both it? Is, yeah. Dude, my girl and I have been like really leaning into that. It's so hot. Okay. Do it's go on. so hot. So you're looking at her and she's looking at you? Yeah. And, and you're just stroking and stroking? Okay. Yeah. It's like, I didn't realize how hot it was. I've done it a few times where I'm like, oh, this is fine, whatever. Because you're looking at their emotion geared at you. Yeah. And then I, you're looking at their emotion. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, looking yeah. at her emotion, the way that she's looking. It's, yeah, it's like. No, I've, I've done it. I do think it's hot. So when hot. you're both gearing each other up. You're both revving your own engines. Yeah. You're getting in fourth gear. So when you meet up, it's fucking. We're all ready to go. Come, ready to eject. Which number, one is this? Number three is missionary. Which this seems kind of unfair. That's this a lot of stomach pressure. Yeah. I'm not doing that at all. I'm not. This I'm out on this. I'm fucking like a damn, you know, the Under Armour logo. I'm just going backs. I'm just <laughs> going to sleep, dude. <laughs> uh, lazy dog. This is my favorite one. Oh, we finally got good. the name for yeah. it. That's the one you're talking about? Yeah, this is I my know exactly favorite that one. one. But, the, so wait, her, wait, wait, wait. but her legs are closed. The, my favorite one. What? Oh, her right, legs are open. Tighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you can do that, imagine that, but on its side. That's the same as the first position we saw. But with the, the difference of I have all like my weight on there so I can get in there. The other way, oh. maybe I just haven't done it right. Yeah. I feel like I've you tried a couple times. You just have a homie back there pushing you in. You want to try? Yeah. All right. I'm so curious how Mormons fuck the docking and all that. Just I was Salt Lake City shows. Like maybe the best show of the tour. So fun. That's great. But they, I said something about like, I think they're freaks. I like said something jokingly of and, and like, like I was waiting for this big pop to be like, that's crazy that you guys do this. And everyone was like, yeah, we do do that. Be jumping on the bed, kicking the bed while people are up there docked up, just charging their iPhone. But the iPhone is a cock Whoa. plugged in. USCB. I, yeah. Yep. And I'll tell you what that C stands for. <laughs> Come. <laughs> so that one also a lot of pressure on the stomach. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up on that one. Vibe this is the check. Same what one. Is this? What the hell? Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa. vibrator on the old clatanus. Yeah. So. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So but, this is just like the side okay. one, but just using a vibrator. Everyone's That's asleep. great for you because you don't need to have your penis out. Oh, that is great for me. Yeah. Yeah, you can just be on the front. Well, just... hold on, but I'm not getting jerked. Am I getting jerked off in this one? Mentally. No. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but garbage. her getting off is now. Her get, I'm her, watching a lady get off is underrated how fucking hot that is. Even if you're not inside. Yeah. It's so hot. Well, that's why the mass bit while well, you guys look at each other is the same thing. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you're both, everybody eating. Oral, Oral sex. No. I'm already I'm full. I'm eating. I ain't going back for thirds. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> gotta get a napkin and a bib. I gotta eat a turkey and a pussy. 
I don't want that. I would do that before Thanksgiving. Yeah, okay, and yeah. after Thanksgiving, dude, everything's all That's greased up. That's a palate up. cleanser right there. Yuck. You ever eat a girl's fucking vagina tastes like cranberry? You'd probably love that. that sounds great. <laughs> Terrible. How it feels at Chew 5 come. And then reclined finger banging. Nobody? I got it. <laughs> reclined finger banging? Okay, 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 okay. All right. <laughs> Too many Ks right here, you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this one, this this seems like you wrote this article. Fingering is underrated. This is written, written, yep. written by a 14-year-old. I'm 14. Uh, not only because it lets you be lazy after a big meal, add some lube and focus on the clit. And you'll see this sex act in a whole new light. Is this the last one? Yeah. They ran out of positions. Yeah, and they're just like, sure. what about fingering? See, yeah, seven sounds yeah. better than six. Yeah. That's why my cock is seven inches, metaphorically speaking. I don't think it's seven. For Klein finger banging, your cock's like, what about me? Put me in. What is this, preseason? You jerk off, dude. Dude, god damn. So you probably heard about microdosing, haven't you, dude? Well, if not, just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better, dude. Our show today is sponsored by none other than microdose gummies. Microdose gummies deliver the perfect entry-level dose of THC that helps you Feel, you know, the right amount of good. When I freaking do a little THC too much, I'm like, am I a Jaguar? Am I a human? I don't even know. But You're this, Bob Hope. I am Bob Hope. Is he good at comedy? Who knows? But what I do is I go to microdose.com, freaking get some microdose gummies, and it's the right amount they taste of taste amazing. Thank you, dude. And you feel good about it. Helps me wind down, chill out. Get in the Touch zone. My, get in the zone. Touch yourself. Touch myself. I've touched yourself when I'm on microdose gummies. Yeah. Did we just admit something? All Whatever. around 10 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the easiest website to go to. Just if you want to, you're at home, you're bored. Just see if the website even works. It's so easy. Microdose.com. What is it? Microdose.com. Microdose.com. So use promo code SOCKS for free shipping and what? 30% off your first order. Whoa. What? That's a lot of money. What? Links can be found in the show description. But again, that's microdose.com. Promo code SOCKS. God damn. I... Was so full of cum this weekend, it was insane. I was bursting at the seams. <laughs> I didn't jerk did off. You, I didn't jerk off for like almost with? four days. I was with the lady, but then she left. So I ha so I did, yeah, four days of not coming. Why didn't you rub one out? Uh, it was just like I didn't. I don't know. No, I do know. I was I was in the same room as uh. Neil. Oh, you just share a room? Yeah, we shared a room. We went to the in, in A Loft. First of all, A Lofts, we're shouting out a lot of companies here. A Lofts underrated. I love them. Some so were a little weird. Yep. But the but this one was fine. I had a pool table. It was pretty festive. Anyway. It feels like you're at a uh, you're like a camp counselor when you stay there. Yeah, it feels like if Dave and Buster's was a hotel. Yeah. It was fun. But yeah, we shared a room, it was fine. Uh and I just like when you're sharing a room with your buddy, like I don't know. It's the like, horniness isn't there. No. So I the last night. My balls hurt. Like I, I was close to having a wet. I, it was a, one of the first times in a while where I dreamt about sex. I never do, because of my fuck I fucking life. No, I just, I just never. I just generally don't. And I was like having almost wet. I was waking up like rock hard. My my left ball was hurting. So why didn't you be like, yo, I'm gonna hit the lobby real quick, I, or be like, yo. You hit the lobby real quick. You know why? You know, you remember that? Yeah, I'm sure you do know this. Like, you know how like boxers are like, oh, I don't want to come before the. Oh, you don't want to come before I the I was show? just trying it out because I think I'm like 50% of the field. Like sometimes I jerk off and then sometimes I don't. And it's not like if I don't jerk off, I'm funny. Or if I do jerk off, I'm funnier. Like it's just like whatever. I haven't really taken a hard like sample size. And this one, for some odd reason, I was just like, I'm not going to do it. I had great shows Friday. I'm just not going to do it. And so I was like actively not doing it. But like, I'm not like, what's the longest you think you've ever gone without getting it out? I told you guys, it was eight months Right on, on the Whitney pod where I lived oh when I first moved to LA and I lived in a pool house and I thought my dick was broken. That feels was, impossible. What's that? It's impossible. That feels impossible. I'm two weeks in and I. You're I, two weeks? Yeah. Why? You doing I don't know. November? Half, half November? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're currently two weeks in? Yeah, I'm two weeks in. I feel like I'm going to explode. So I don't know. So, how what, so what, what is, yeah. but what, what are you doing? This what week? is this health, health and wellness? Or you're no saving reason. up until you see your lady. Saving again. up for Thanksgiving. Hey, oh, for real. Lee. Talk about a sin of bun. Yeah. Sin of cum. All right. That might be the title. Soft title. I like it. That's what do you do at night? That, that's the tough part. What do you just watch Philly thinking. reruns? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'd have, but you'd have like, it's funny, but like, 
you sort of have to do like if I'm ever like not I'll like watch basketball or something. Yeah, like, you it's the most unhot yourself. thing in the world, like sports and shit. So like, right. but yeah, I mean, do do you do that? Do you like on purpose like read or like watch? Oh unhot? yeah, you got to. You got to watch like sports and stuff. And but I'm trying to figure out how you did eight months. With I was in denial. I thought that if I came, I would feel like a burning, and then I'd be like, oh, I have something. So that's that's fear. Yeah. <laughs> you run off fear. Maybe that's oh, a good yeah. way to do it. Wow. Well, I was also living in a pool house. And I was like, I was too scared to like think that like if I did have something, I, would, I didn't have like great health insurance and I would have to, oh, I gotta figure it out. Turns out everything was just fine. I just didn't pee one time after sex. And then my you know, my dick felt weird because I just didn't, didn't pee. pee. Yeah, yeah. And then I was in my head like, oh, I have something. And I thought it immediately kicked in. And I was Googling stuff and I was not. I barely had Wi-Fi out there. So yeah, eight months. And then I got a load out and I was like, we're fine. And then I eventually can't. just went to the doctor when I had insurance. And I was like, oh. Did you, so after those eight months, what made you jerk off? Or did you, or being did you a, have sex? Being a male. So you were just like, fuck it. Yeah, I I no, I, I didn't even have the sex. It was just get a nut out. I think I was just like, I mean, what, whatever. Did it come out like a full baby? Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, I mean, it literally rolled out yeah like it was just like a, a finger roll of a nut just like a bowling ball just coming out literally did it feel incredible did you go to sleep for like two weeks afterwards i think so yeah i just remember being like that low like it like it like it did not shoot out it cares too heavy yeah it kind of just like like it was in neutral it was not in dry <laughs> it's kind of like i think i had to forcefully push push it out but so it was should a, i stop should, i'm waiting for this roi this return on investment on this Oh, Nuts. I think two weeks is great. That's plenty. Yeah. Because then here's what you do. Smoke a little bit of Holy weed shit. and you lose your security deposit. You're about <laughs> to blast through a ceiling fan. I th Yeah, two Dude. weeks is good because it's healthy, but it's also enough time for your balls to be like, we're ready. Like this was like, I felt like these were like NBA like players who went out of retirement and then out eight months later, like, you guys ready for the game today? And they're like, ah, yeah. we haven't even stretched. Yeah, if you ask, if you just ask like Gary Payton to play basketball right now, you'd yep. be like, I'll, I'll fucking run they my They came ACL. out of retirement to come <sighs> in retirement. I know people that don't watch porn, but they still rub them out, which I think is- I can't do that. Interesting, because I'm like, you're using imagination. Or they're like, oh yeah, I'll look at like a hot chick's Instagram, but that's too weird. You're mixing business with play. Nah, I can do that. You really? Yeah, because well, aren't you scared? You accidentally like, like hit your like thumb out of excitement. All of a sudden, you like a photo from 2017 with your cock. I've done that, and you unlike it, and I'm hoping that the notification goes away. It doesn't. Good. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> well, that or like I don't know. Like, what have you? I don't know. Um. Yeah, I mean that to me is just like I mean obviously it's an odd. Well, it's not. I, whatever. I guess it is an odd thing to do, but like. Uh, it just, you know, it's the same reason why we all like Reddit. It's just like real. Correct. Like that's a real okay. human being. I mean, right. not, ugh, that sounds fucked up, but you know what I mean? It's not well, like- Well, it's uh, not highly produced. By correct. Like, yeah. <laughs> what do you do when you're rubbing one out and your parents call? Do you just let it go? Do you I mean, I've answer? never pressed ignore so fast in my life. You you hit ignore or you let it ring out? Ignore. I let it ring out because I don't want her to think I'm a bad person. Be like, fuck off, mom. Ignore. Ignore. I'll call you back. I swear to God, I'll call you back. Ignore. But what do you say? Oh, I was busy. You're like, oh yeah. She's like, hey, I don't think my mom generally doesn't go like, oh, I just called you. What were you doing? You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I just call right. her back. She's like, oh, hey, sweetie. Blah, blah, blah. We just talk. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of yeah. That's like kind of like a girlfriend thing. Like, what were you doing? My mom was like, just happy I called her back. That is true. Are you calling your parents less? As you, as Ooh, your, eight, I think like, we text a lot more now text. than anything. Calling is like just we're like catching up, and it's been a while. Me like can't meet up or anything. But texting is just like it's easy to just. Keep yeah. the flow of communication going. I feel like I'm talking to my parents less. I just saw my dad, though. That's great. Yeah. And great. Why, why do you think you're just busier? I think busier. And when they call me because they're East Coast and I'm West Coast, when they call me, I'm just like in the middle of work. And yeah. They're like done. They're like done their day or whatever. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just shoot them a text every once in a while. Just uh, Yeah. I think I need to. Miss you, mom. Can't wait to see you. Yeah. I'm going to see you in a couple of days. There you go. I'm going to have her freaking, dude, she cooks the fuck out of Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. What's her best dish? Stuffing. Yeah? She knows how to make this stuffing that's like, does the, um, the uh, what do they call it? The onions in the stuffing, but also she does uh, celery. I'm out. What? No, I celery think, fucking I think, blows. I think celery and <laughs> stuffing is good. Celery needs to add value. It's just there. It's stringy. It does. It adds crunch. on a fucking Les Paul guitar. This shit is stupid as hell. 
so you don't like celery peanut, peanut butter in celery we are done i think no apples and peanut butter that's my go-to like late night snack oh, cut up a know? cold apple put some cold peanut butter after a show i mean that is who fixed this the lord I didn't crazy think. anyway sorry no guys. squeaky on the mic yeah that's my like post show like that or cereal and like some fucking almond milk <laughs> i haven't had cereal in so long so good oh god oh this is what i this is why i was freaking out um louisville shows bringing up again in the green room they got me uh like this plate of um apples and uh grapes apples whatever. and bananas <laughs> I, I knew someone's gonna <laughs> anyways apples and uh, uh there was a vat like a bowl of um caramel Oh, apples and caramels. Insane. Sure. Insane. But I've never had anyone put that in the green room. It's usually just like nice fruit on a plate or whatever. Yeah. But it was like a package from like a grocery store. But the apples were so good. And in the middle was caramel. It was crazy. Oh, I apples could are not so stop good eating stuff. That. Yeah. It what? Huh? You what? like caramel apples? I do, but I don't like them because they're so fucking hard to eat. Well, you cut them. Well, I don't, I've never done that. I get them from you a You strike me as a guy who goes, I don't need it cut. Well, you have oh, them no, cut I'm it a there. Big cut guy. They have like machines there. It's like zing. Oh, not at a fair, though. Yeah, yeah. No, they're too Dude, busy. if you work at a fair, you have a knife on you at all times. If you work at a fair, you have, there's something, you didn't, everything you, didn't go great. You are wanted in the state of Kentucky. A hundred percent. So Apples, we're talking about apples, celery. That's what I'm, that's what I'm most excited about. Right. Stuffing, because she makes it moist as shit. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and then she does the uh, the celery, the onions, dude. Oh, my God. What, what do you do for leftovers the next day after Thanksgiving? Are you making a Sandwich. sandwich. Sandwich is great. Big sandwich guy. Big sandwich. And it's crazy. It's like the only time of the year it's okay to put mashed potatoes on a sandwich. You put mashed potatoes on yeah, a sandwich wild. in February, gun at your head. I did it the other day. It was crazy. No, gun at your head. No. What, what, what was in it? It was a, like a fake fry, vegan fried chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy. Interesting. I went to a burger place after filming the other day in LA and I was so excited because a great like LA burger sounds so good. We walk in and he's like, all right, welcome. You guys been here? He's like, he's describing. He goes, and right before I go to order, he goes, this is uh, all plant-based by the way. Mm. Oh God. And then I was about shit. to leave and he saw it in our eyes and he goes, but the burger's incredible. It's insane. It was fine. I felt like I was chewing on like, you know, if somebody like threw a Home Depot box in an air fryer, mm. like, it, like it, like, like it worked, but it wasn't like, it's, it's meat. Mm -hmm. I had to tell myself I was full. You know, you know, mm -hmm. how do you get your protein? How do you feel full mm -hmm. after doing all that? That's why when I went vegetarian for like three you weeks. You went vegetarian? Yeah. For like three weeks, almost a month. Recently? No, nah, this is maybe like four years ago, maybe five years ago. And I, that was a problem. Yeah. I would, I, every two hours I was hungry. I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's right. so annoying. I was carving up. Yeah. I didn't, I did a lot of like, uh, what are those was, beans called? Fava beans? Nah. Chickpeas? Nah, Gazanzo beans. Gaz 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 I think that is a chicken. Gonzaga. Ah, oh, fuck. Gonzaga. College <laughs> basketball. They did. Um, yeah, but but I don't know. I don't know why that has anything to do with anything. But yeah, the burger. I wanted it to be. It was it was good, but it felt like it was like, yeah. you know. Yeah, I think they're all like the vegan burgers. They've gotten really good, but they're only good. They're really good to me because I haven't had real meat in so long right. that I right. don't really remember. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's what I was expecting. Like, you know, that first bite of a burger. Yeah. It's like, <clears throat> mm. when are you going to break your uh, vegetarian? I don't it's think like, ever. Sir. I don't really have it. I have no desire to anymore. When was the last time you just like fucked up some chicken Alfredo? You know what I mean? Just like some Slim Jim around your arms, tie yeah. it up and <laughs> fucking get into it. Slim Jims, I, I actually, I used to fuck with Slim Jims really heavy. You know, uh, that sense alone makes me want to go vegetarian. Yeah. I used Slim to Jim's fuck with Slim Jims. Super heavy, yeah. He used to do heroin. <laughs> <laughs> heroin. All right, Jim's. well, here's the thing. What, so, gun to your head. Heroin mm. or a burger? Mm. What? Probably a burger. Probably. Sure. Heroin I mean, was a big contender. Yeah. I, I think we're underestimating. I don't think so. The feeling of. Nope. Dude, people, I don't think we should condone it. No, it's I, the worst thing in the world. Correct. Would you rather do heroin or get attacked by a shark? Heroin. Yeah, 100%. Right in my cock. I don't give a hell. <laughs> Sharks are so scary. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? I think dying in a dumb way. Like, because then it devalues your life. Like, if you get hit by a semi truck, people are like, oh, man, he, you know, so unfortunate. He was so yeah. young. He had so much hope and life. But if you get hit by a Fiat and you die, that's on you. Yeah, it really, it'll undercut your any accomplishment you've made. Like if, that's what I'm saying. If Tom Cruise gets killed by a giraffe, that's the only thing we're going to talk about. Correct. Right, because then it goes from like sad to like, oh. 
Yeah. What like by the the neck? He is strangled out, choked out, or like slipping in a bathtub. You're like, this is that's all what, I went all these years that's accomplished what, all this, and then mm-hmm. water does it for me. Pissed. Water and a little bit of porcelain. That's what takes me out. Yeah. You just get shocked by a toaster and you're just gone. Or yeah. you get like typhoid fever because you played Oregon Trail too much. <laughs> yeah, or you know, you get locked off from smoking weed out of a seven up, and then all of a sudden you can't talk and you just, you know, there it is. That's yeah, you life. Have, you have sex with one girl. Behind a goddamn Seven Eleven, and you're just dead. How does, how do you die from that? Just bad diseases. <laughs> <laughs> What's your biggest fear? I also um, think being a bad father is a big fear. Like really? my my family and my my kids don't like me. Yeah, no. I or think or I feel like if my kids and I don't have any, like they they turn out bad, and I go, ah, oh, that's, that's on me. You know, I like. I think you could undercut that fear, man, because I think you're gonna do a great job, or you're gonna do the best you can. And if they right. turn out, that's on them. That's on them. That's, that's on, on them. genetics. That's on who yeah, they that's hung on out them. with. And then also, I can just block them on social media. That's funny. Yep. God damn. Santa cares about his sack. Weird. And so should you, <laughs> man. Scaped, baby. Look nice when you get naughty and get free shipping and twenty percent off by going to manscaped.com slash stiff. If you guys are confused with what that means, that means when they're having sex, they're saying that you look a little better. You have trimmed up hedges and your cock looks better for the old SCX. You know, all I'm trying to say is, ladies, what? you're listening. We yeah, got a big are. female audience. Uh huh. We do. We do. I believe it. I do. Ladies, hello. <laughs> but if you got a man and holidays are coming around, guys are so easy to shop for, right? We're dumb, but make yourselves feel, you know, just take the work off your shoulders and just get them the Manscaped package. Dude, like the, the Platinum Package 4.0, one-stop shop for the cock. It literally Whoa. comes with premium body wash, two-in-one shampoo, I love conditioner, uh, premium deodorant for your arms and balls so you smell fresh dude also has like the lawnmower just literally everything earwax uh, you can trim your ears your nose like just groom it up and also the lawnmower 4.0 waterproof freaking 4000 k led i don't know what that means it's just a bright ass light bright ass light if you're shaving your asshole yeah. you can see everything nooks and crannies i use it during emergencies yep flat tire yep a volcano erupts you're dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Go to manscaped.com slash stiff and get 20% off plus free shipping. That's manscaped.com slash stiff. 20% off plus free shipping. What the fuck are you waiting for? Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Jam your cock somewhere nice. The couch. <laughs> God damn. I think it's funny that you can literally block your kids on Instagram. Yep. I, I literally know uh, a girl and her mom, they would unfollow each other when they'd get in beefs. I'm like, that's your own mom. Unfollow like if my mom unfollowed me, I would be devastated. I would call and be like, "Did did is this a glitch? Isn't, did you try to refollow me because you love me that much?" Isn't, isn't this funny that you your parents get to a certain age where they need your relationship more than you need their relationship? Does that ring true to anyone else in this Whoa, room? Let me run this back. I'm not yeah. smart. There, there is a, there is a where a, you need them more than they need you. No, no, no. Where they, they need your relationship more than you need their relationship. You get to a certain age. Oh, I see. You, what you're ha- saying. you have enough like financial wherewithal or whatever, so you kind of like. Of course, you want their love and you want their relationship, but they, they're sort of like a value switch where they don't have a ton going on. Maybe this is just a personal thing, but they don't have a ton going on. So like they sort of like that relationship means more to them than your relationship. So if they like, so if you unfollow them, it's going to ruin their f- fucking life. To the parents? Yeah. If my dad unfollowed me, all right, my mom would follow me. All right. But I think if I unfollow my mom or I unfollow my dad, it would be a well, fucking yeah, shit you're, show. They're, you're st- I think you're still their child in their eyes, no matter what. And it's like, right. it's like now the tough part is you're an adult and you're living your own world and you're very busy and you're doing all the things, but they're still your parent. They're still like at the end of the day, be like, that's my little boy. Yeah. He doesn't have time for me. He's right. Doing shows in San Antonio. Right. <laughs> Plug it. <laughs> Plug it. So it Guys, feels, December 2nd through the 4th. So doesn't it feel like, you know, it's like they, it's one thing I was thinking about this. It's like, you know, you raise your kid to be 18 or whatever, then they go to college. And for, it's two very different chapters because the kid going to college is so exciting. There's so many new chapters, this and that. And now the parents are like, oh, 
Yeah. They're on without us. Empty nest syndrome, bro. That's right. Where they thing, might not man. need. And of course, you go two days at college before you're like, dad, my dick burns. 100%. Why did I fuck this cup of noodles? Am I going to be okay? So there is that like, but it is weird because now they are on their own where they, they do always need you, but they might not, it might not seem like they need you as much. And now as a parent, you're like, oh, right. so that's what it kind of feels like. I think what you're saying is like, you are fully functioning adult. You have, you have a, you, everything is covered. You know how to do everything. You, yeah. you got a tax guy, a money guy, you live with a girlfriend, you're doing this. You're like very much in the adult realm. Yeah. What about us? Correct. And I, I think, I think yeah, exa- that's a way more articulate way of, of, uh, of putting what I was trying to say. Where it's like, there is that. It's like, you're a parent, so you're very used to like helping your kid with everything. And then there just comes a point where I don't really need you. Like, I'm good. I need you. I, I need my parents. I, I will be the first one to admit I need my parents. Mm-hmm. Like, they do so much for me emotionally, walk me through so many things and give me advice that I need. But like, the value of my relationship to them is less than their need for my relationship. I think, I, I think it's just a, I don't think really anything, well... I think you just slowly start taking on the roles they used to do for you. Correct. So, I think really you just, it. yeah, you, but like the reason that I know how to do all this stuff is because of Them. my parents. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So like their, their knowledge is, is moving forward. I just don't need them to say it to me again. Correct. Yeah. But holy shit, I need my parents. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the end? And not to get sad, but did you see the end of the Dion Cole special, the new one? Mm-mm. Dude, first of all, the special is so good. If you guys don't know who Dion Cole is, go watch the special. So He's so fucking good. It's on Netflix? It is. Yeah, on Netflix. And at the end, he he ends with this so just such a silly, funny joke. It murders. And then at the end, man, the special I think is I forget exactly what it's called, but it's like a special to Charlene. I think that's what his mom's name is. But the last like two minutes is him like really going on about how like if you're a certain age, like a lot of people are going through this. And you like lose your parents and you lose your footing and your foundation of and like all this stuff about how he's just opening his heart up to like how much he misses his mom and how much like you need to like look around at all these people and know that they might be hurting too. And like this whole like diatribe about all all and it was like I was literally like tearing up in a uh, in a fucking flight. Like I was like, wow, dude. Like I don't mean to like again get so sad on this fucking podcast, but like that's a real moment. It's gonna yeah. be a real moment where you look up, you go, bro, I don't have like, I don't have parents anymore. Like, that is right. wild. Though. That's why I, when you're like, I don't talk to my parents as much. I'm like, just fucking shoot them a text. I have to. Let yeah. Know. yeah. If I miss, like, a text or a call from my mom, I always feel so bad. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm letting her down. Yeah. So, I, like, put in my reminder. Because I'll, I'll look at it at, like, 2 a.m. And I'll be like, oh, fuck, I missed this call. Yeah. I'm like, all right. First thing, 8 a.m., call mom back. Text mom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I Dude, I'll be the first one to admit, I really need to get better at that because yeah. the last, like, three years have been, I mean, obviously, you know, it's fucking super busy and like you're like god i can't add one more thing to this list right but it's like one of those things where like you're gonna look back and be like why didn't i just take the time correct why didn't i so you know it's it's just yeah it's just making sure that you're appreciating while they're here appreciated that that's that's what i think because like you can't forget what they do and what they did for you and i think i will be the first one to admit there are moments where i do and i'm like i can't i can't call you back i'm fucking crazy right now yeah well, it's just kind of valuing the time that you're there. Like yep. I remember when I went camping with my parents, maybe like two or three months yeah, ago. Yeah. I was like, "This is this feels good. This feels yeah nice. To just chat and not feel like, oh, okay, I, I I can go to dinner for go. an hour, but then yeah. I got up. You yep. know, yeah, yep. Um, yeah, not to get uh, so uh, so sad towards the end of this podcast. But call but your parents. Enjoy your family time this Thanksgiving. Yeah, dude. You know? Yeah. Um, unless your dad is racist, then film it content. There's Santa always a wild clip over like Thanksgiving. There's always a hundred of them because everyone's with their parents. Yeah, I always see one where this kid like flips the table. Oh, I've seen that one. Right? That's I like, love that's that like, one. That's like the original Thanksgiving video meme. Yeah. Great time for content. Family together, you know? It is funny because like the whole family is wholesome and then people start drinking and then they're like, you know, your mother and I actually conceived you on a pontoon boat. And you're like, I, I just pass the stuffing. I didn't even ask for this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even your son. I'm in the wrong house. <laughs> Great time for baking. I want some cookies. I, do you know what I want? I want to order lunch with a, like a Thanksgiving one. Places do that. Yeah. What? Like they do like a like a Thanksgiving one. Where it's like the jelly and the fucking the dude hand, I, jam. This is you guys know Wawa, right? Obviously, Jack. Knows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerks off to it. Um, <laughs> Wawa has a. It's called the Gobbler. Yo, dog. I got a girl. Call her the Gobbler. <laughs> yeah, that's Nancy I Reagan. Wish. Throat goat. <laughs> Dude, the gobbler. It's called the gobbler. It's, gobble, gobble. Have you Wait, had it, Jack? Yeah, it's great. It's crazy, Dude, tur- tur- dog. Well, how do we get one out here? I, I don't think we have Wawa. I know, but like, what's the closest you can do? 
Uh, you make it yourself. something, but it's like it's just like it's turkey what? stuffing, cranberry. It's what you were talking about earlier. Make it right? myself. Yeah, this like this, this that's that's for Friday after. morning. Turkey stuffing, cranberry, and I think there's a little bit of gravy on it. It is yeah. great. It do, there Gabe, is a Wawa here. No, there's it's not. Where it's on Olympic. No what? way. They have a Wawa in L.A. Mm -hmm. Dine in, no delivery. Dog. How do we let's get Thanksgiving get one. sandwiches that well Wawa? There's Never no mind, way Wawa has gluten Wawa. free. They don't even have this permits is a, there. This is a karaoke bar. Son of a bitch. Valor. Gabe, I'm so sorry. I was so excited because I was like, let's order it. For I know the, the sandwich place Witch Witch does. Uh, I think that that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, they Witch do. Witch is pretty yeah. Good. Witch my Witch friend has... used to work at Witch Witch in college, and we would get sandwiches. We took it out for freeze. My roommate, and he would literally make us like thirty dollars sandwiches. I was getting shit on there just because I could. Because when you're in college, you're like, just add everything. It didn't make sense. It was balsamic, guacamole, yeah. hot wheel cars, jam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ike's does one too. Ike's. Yeah. Do they have gluten free bread? I think so. Yeah. Who the hell's Ike? Mike. And Ike. Ike. Ike's is good. There's one in the Bay Area that people like lose their minds over. It's funny how places get really big. Like Panera used to be the shit. Mm -hmm. I went to one the other day at the airport and I was like, y'all fell off. Y'all uh, got too complacent. Y'all got too comfortable. Uh, I'll tell you, we didn't fall off. The squash soup. Dumb, stupid Panera. You're bread. An no, idiot. they literally heat I've it up. I've never been so mad at you. You don't like squash soup? Squash soup is good, but not from Panera bread. They reheat that shit in a Ziploc yeah, bag. Yeah, it's not good. Have you seen their mac and cheese? It's not even real. It looks like it belongs in a beer bong. That shit is watered <laughs> down. It's terrible. It looks like what uh, fucking NASA people eat. Panera Panera is healthy food for people in Columbus, Ohio. It's not healthy. <laughs> oh, right. You're saying that. It yeah. is like, it's, it's not like, healthy. Hel no, it's not healthy. It's, it's McDonald's wearing bread. That's it. And a little bow tie. What's bow ties? Bow tie you put pasta? a bow tie in your cock before you fuck, dude. I mean- Talk about casual sex. Business casual sex. Reverse that. When <laughs> girls when girls say I don't want casual sex, you put a bow tie on your cock. Ike sandwiches. <laughs> All right. Order for sock lunch. Talk. Um, sock talk. Do you love me? We have a sock talk from Devin, and he says I'm going back for Thanksgiving, uh, but going back home, and I plan on meeting up with this girl from my hometown on Absolutely. Wednesday night. The only problem is we both live at home with our parents, and I don't know where to do the nasty. Jack, Please help me figure it out. In the box parking lot any parking lot really because that car. back home sex is it doesn't even need to be like this romantic like meet up and get in the bed and set the tone no fuck that fucking a key optima put your you know your reverse lights on and just go to town i think that's great i think yeah that's part or, of it. that's part of the funniness it's a power move and you go in your parents bed and say get the fuck <laughs> out of here sharon what if i'm still piping in, there? in your goddamn yeah. bed um yeah I, if you or, wake if you wake your parents up tell them to get the fuck out <laughs> so you so you can fuck guys, christina scalco is crazy guys, i'm gonna have sex here. <laughs> i mean also i mean i don't know what type of income this dude's got but dude he get did. a hotel room yeah he said it's out of the budget oh fuck yeah this is what you do you run your parents room you start screaming fire 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 <laughs> they leave and then you pipe down in a minute and a half because you got about a minute and a half Minute and a half, two minutes. <laughs> you say before they realize that the house exactly. Is not on fire. Before they, they run downstairs and they go, oh, there isn't a fire. Yeah, but you light something on fire. You light like the family <laughs> dog on fire, and then he's running around. Oh my god, Skittles! And he's running around trying to get Skittles. I don't know. We're concerning a dog on fire, or a dog named Skittles. <laughs> All of it's awful. Hold on. Yeah, I, I think it's hot to like. I I would do those in like college. You both come home. You had had this like weird flirty. Oh, it's so hot. Like, like you guys would flirt during the summer. Then you go to college. You don't really talk. And then winter breaks around. And then somebody does a not even a you up text. You go you in town. Oh, the you the in you in town text goes uh, crazy. Damn, because it's Thanksgiving. You know she's in town. Oh. You know what that town has? Pound town population <laughs> two. Two. Meet here at 0800. I don't no know one why knows what time no that is. <laughs> but yeah. Everyone's going to be but late. Literally, oh, yeah, right. Exactly. But I remember that. It hooked up in front of my house in her car. Oh, it's so hot. Right? Dude, Sneaking out? Dude, I had a girl. This was like three years ago. I had a girl pick me up from my fucking mom's house in her car. I was like, God damn, this is like high school. Yeah. Pipe. She drove me all the way to goddamn Damascus. You guys don't know how far that is, but that's fucking far. Piped her down. She made me take a goddamn Uber home. Hilarious. Funny. Funny. Sub. Me? You're sub. I'm starving. You got a sub? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You know how many times people would come and then get in an Uber? Oh, yeah. Like, like, do you think Uber drivers are like, like you ever gotten in an Uber at like 8 a.m. leaving somewhere that's obviously not your house? And the guy's like, early morning? You're like, if only you knew. Oh, yeah. Dude. We're talking come. <laughs> I just I just rode my cousin's mouth for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna let you sit in that one for a second. I'll sit in it. <laughs> I'll sit on it too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Your Thanksgiving is a whole ass fucking Brazzers title. <laughs> Stepson comes home to find a surprise. And it ain't a turkey. No, it's not. But it's a different type of leg. Yeah. I'm about to make a sure Duncan in your goddamn <laughs> <laughs> What is is that a, a chicken a turkey tr- duck? Yeah, if you're a making tr- duck. <laughs> if you're making turduckins this Thanksgiving, you need to seek God. You need to call betterhelp.com immediately. Yeah. You need therapy in your life. You need somebody to hold you. You're putting three animals in one. That was not on Noah's Ark for a reason. Is it two? It's too many. Yeah. Turkey, so what happened? chicken, duck. Oh, there's three? Yes, it's layers, bro. What type this of is trident is that? layers. This is fucking dumb. If you've ever had one, write in and then seek Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Secret sock. Anonymous submission. Um, First time I ever gave a blowjob. Guess what movie was playing in the background? Marley Marley and me. me. Marley and me? Marley and me. I was giving a B minus blowjob at best while sobbing on his goddamn dick. Oh, she's crying? What's funny is he was probably like, yeah, that dick's so big, she, she tearing up. Yeah. In real reality, it's just a dog in the background who doesn't make it through the movie. I never I've saw Marley it. and Me. I've seen the Spark Notes. <laughs> You've seen the Spark Notes <laughs> with my eyes. Can you can you read the the plot of Mar- I don't. I have no idea what it's about. Is it like Homeward Bound, but with that guy with the weird nose? Owen Wilson. Yep. Hmm, I don't know. But I do know, I think it's like, a, I don't know, this is my guess, and then we'll read it, we'll compare yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's about a guy who lives with a dog, and he loves that dog a lot. Okay. You know how people are like too close with their dog? Like me? They like, in and... Yeah, you guys for sure have made out with peanut butter, yeah, and then yeah. sometimes you remove the peanut butter, and it's just tongue on tongue. That's called Weird. copped in American love. That's called bestiality. Ah, copy TV. 100%. So I think this guy is like, has a dog he like loves, and da 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 da, and then he meets a girl, and then he like doesn't want to take away from the dog by meeting the girl. This is what and I then think. he has to pick between the two. And then this she loves the dog too. And then the dog passes away. And this then he I loves think. a girl. I think they, uh, Owen Wilson and a dog, and uh, that's his best friend in the world, and live in a, an apartment together. And then he meets a girl, and the girl moves in. And then the girl goes, you have to choose between me and that's the dog. That's kind of what I'm saying, right? And then he shoots the dog. And the, and the girl goes, oh. you could have just gave the dog away. And he goes, oh, fuck. And that's the end of the movie. <laughs> Close. <laughs> what happened? Uh, newlyweds John and Jenny leave behind snowy Michigan and move to Florida, where they buy their first home and find jobs at competing newspapers. Soon afterward, they adopt Marley, an adorable yellow Labrador pup. But uh-huh. Marley soon grows up to be a mischievous handful. Oh. Still, even when he's destroying the furniture and failing obedience school, he always manages to bring out the best in John, Jenny, and their growing family. Aw. What? That got picked up? Yeah, someone pitched that and they're like, cool. <laughs> Newspapers, I'm in. Awful. Let's watch that shit movie. <laughs> we should just we should watch it on, on Patreon and just do like a, a live commentary to so, it. So so what is the the where's, where's the, the conflict? Arc? Yeah. The dog's like, oh, I want to work in a newspaper too. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen so it. So the dog doesn't get shot? I don't think the, the dog, dog gets passes shot away at the end, right? Yeah. Oh, he does. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Imagine f- being that dog. He's like, What? I gotta die. Yeah. The yeah. sequel? For me? Damn. No residuals? Done. Well, is that a podcast? That's a podcast. You, oh, I had one more question. Oh, yeah. Jackson, Jackson, what, question. what was the weirdest thing you guys ever banged to in the background? Like, mine was a Michael Jackson documentary. No. Wow. You banged while the Michael Jackson documentary was in the background? Yeah. That's what got that you one, off? That one sucks. No, no, Damn. it wasn't good. It just it was on. You just wanted not to great just looking beat over it. it. Come on, guys. We're telling you. Oh, there we go. That's a um, comedy podcast. The weirdest thing in the background. I'm, this is this is gonna sound like I'm making this up, but Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> jail, jail, jail. Get out of jail. On bail. Back in jail. Teletubbies. Yeah, but it, where were you fucking in a McDonald's playpen? I went over to this girl's place because she was babysitting. <laughs> How old was she? She was <laughs> she was babysitting, and they had the Teletubbies on. The kid was asleep. And we got to. But but where where was the kid? Like in the room? No, they were upset. Like. <laughs> It was Why st- was it? The, you didn't want to change or turn it on or turn it off? I went over there for a f- for a fucking. It wasn't like we weren't over there to make out. Yeah, Teletubbies was on. It wasn't a, the volume was all like you know. It was background noise. 
We were like watching Teletubbies holding yeah, but hands. Like the background noise, dude. The, the shit they be saying is not even English. It's just like pop, pop, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, beep, beep, I, know. Beep. I mean, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I was being the cooter up. But I do remember. Uh, yeah, but like you know, when I came back online, I was like, wow, this is kind of where the Teletubbies was on. Yeah, uh, mine would probably be. I have two that came to mind. One, Pawn Stars, just because I was like slightly <laughs> listening to the deal in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, are they getting a good deal on this musket or not? That's right. the most Jewish thing you've ever said. Oh yeah, yeah. I like remember at one point I turned. I was like, because they had to bring in the appraiser. You know when they yeah, bring in the appraiser, that's my part. that dude showed up and they they milk it the whole episode. Then he shows up and I'm like, and I'm back there, mildly beating it up, tip tapping, he tipping in, and I'm like, <laughs> they got what they wanted for the most. Part. And the other one would be I remember I would put on the TV for Pluto. There's a channel on YouTube. You just type in like birds for like eight hours, and cats just jump at the screen and just stare at it. Um, so that was on in the background. So I was low key fucking in the sequoias in my bed. Oh, hold on, there's just birds in the back. I, I, hold on, you just this you, is weird to you. No, 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 no sir, no. <laughs> this sir. is weird to no, you. No, no, sir, you fucked not, a life size gummy bears yelling not, at each other. Gummy bears are so good. It's not weird to me. What what I was gonna comment on is that I feel like it's like a borderline like torture for Pluto. No, he wasn't in the room. He like left. Oh no, no, I'm saying like to, to leave birds on. Oh yeah, 100%. do cats love birds? Right, they want to fuck them up, them. but they want to kill them though, right? Didn't I believe so. Fuck your TV up. Uh, no, his he has like his like claws are like trimmed. Oh, yeah. oh, but but he almost he just like looks at it. I think a lot of people put oh. that type of shit on the TV for their animal when they're at work, just because it gives them like entertained. Oh, because he's it, like, yeah. and then oh, okay. he loses interest eventually because he's like, this is a TV. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay so right. maybe that, maybe birds. Um, birds are. There's got to be something weirder. There's got to be a weird one. Uh oh. I, uh, I hooked up with a girl one time where we were watching uh, the movie that was almost Final Destination, like one of the Final Destinations, oh, but we kind of turned it into like a game where we would just like, every time another person would die, we would just like kind of like keep going further with like hooking up. So like at first, like she just kind of like jerked me off watching Final Destination and then eventually it's like, all right, the third person died and we started actually having sex. This is great. <laughs> it's like strip poker, but for dead people. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Did you get all the way to the end? Uh, no, we didn't finish the movie. All right, but did you come? Yeah. At what part? <laughs> I think like probably at 42, 43 minutes in. Damn. There's well, a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of session. foreplay. I think like we both kind of got into the movie at first, but then I was like, all right, come on. Move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. That is, that's, that's the, that takes the cake. Because you like made a man. game in the movie. That's great. Yeah. Jack? The Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson documentary right, with Macaulay Culkin <laughs> wasn't great. Macaulay Culkin, yeah, he was in it. It was like it was the bad. One. Oh, the bad, the one. bad one on HBO. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> was not bang with Succession in the background. That felt kind of cool. Hell yeah, because I don't really know what the show is about, but it sounds powerful. <laughs> that yeah. that theme song yeah. gets me hard. Yeah. Are they when are they coming out with the next one? Soon. They're, Seriously, I think they finished filming it. Yeah, the teaser's out. Call it <sighs> Suck Session, guys. That's Ivan a- Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I'm Tito Ortiz. Cool, you know, uh, you yeah, don't really bang with TV on or movies or anything. I don't either. Yeah, you know, it's weird. You know why? Because I'm enough. Mm. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> that it? Yeah. Is that a podcast? Yeah. Man, guys, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, enjoy your family. Uh, tell them that we say hi, and uh, that's it, man. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Um, and then also, we will talk to you guys on Friday for Patreon. I'll probably yell about Cleveland. In all honesty, the show was great, but there was just two moments that I just that happened in the show. Yeah, everybody in there was great, but two moments. Oh yeah, who knows? Whatever, it'll be fine. Yep. Um, Patreon every Friday, brand new episode, no commercials, no ads, no nothing. Our uninterrupted, pure, unadulterated comedy. And where where can they get it? Patreon.com slash stiff socks pod. Five bucks a month. That's it. Five bucks a month. Or you can get the audio version on podcasts by Apple. Apple Podcasts. Double click your face. Zing zing. Yep. Stiff Socks Plus. Stiff Socks Plus on Apple. If you guys just want the audio version of the bonus episodes, uh, no video on those. But uh, go get them while it's hot. Guys, enjoy Thanksgiving one more time. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Bye.